Hey, welcome back. So, great stuff. In the last video, we've managed to create this volume inside of a container which we named Alpha. Uh, I'm, st I'm still inside the, the this container called Alpha now, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be showing you how we can access that volume from another and different container. If I open a new tab, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run another uh, Ubuntu container, so docker run minus it, let's name it this time minus minus name beta and let's of course it'll be Ubuntu, I can say run bash but it will run by default anyway and now if I want to access the volume from the previous container I'm going to be using an option called minus minus volumes from and I provide the name of the container where the volume is and hit enter and as you can see now if I do minus uh, sorry slash bar slash my volume I should be able to see that file and if I go there um, maybe let's try and edit the content of the file so you remember the previous container is still running and by the way we can actually even exit this container so even if this container the alpha container that hosts the volume even if it's not running we should be able to access it from the other container. This is the beauty of it. As we mentioned before, we can actually have it as a data container. Data container where we only have data and we do the processing from another container. Similar to the web application we, we had over the last few videos, instead of mapping the volume uh, from the same host, we can have it from uh, on another uh, container. So let's go and try and uh, modify the content of this file, maybe hi and stick that to the end of the file and if I uh, display the content of this file now cat my file and I can see now the hi was added if you remember last time we added we added we just added hello world within the file but now if I cat the file you can see we've managed to actually edit the file inside a different container let's add something else just to double check that the idea uh, is making sense another line to edit this file and we should be able to see the change reflected in this container so we've managed to share a volume between two containers two independent containers uh, um, always remember you can do this for your development or for any other purpose a great um, feature provided to us by docker and just to prove to you that we can actually still access that container even if this alpha container which has the volume uh, is not running I can exit this container so I'm on outside now and I only have the beta container running no more alpha uh, container I should be able to add another line to the file and I can still uh, access the file and edit it. So we've managed to um, share a volume between two containers. Remember this is very good for development and what we'll try to do maybe in the next videos is um, maybe work more on sharing volumes between between containers or maybe try to see some details, start to inspect our running uh, uh, containers and see more details about them which are uh, you know which exists in the background so i'm going to stop here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video